Hey Scorpio, how's it going? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. I hope you guys are doing well. This is your general love reading for the end of May 2021. We're going to see what's happening for you guys in love, Scorpio. Take what resonates, leave the rest. If you want a personal love reading, the links are in the description box. You can also head over to my Etsy shop. I have my personal readings there, my oracle decks, my tarot decks. Check it out. Um, connect with me on Instagram, Facebook if you're interested, Scorpio. And your bonus reading is up on Vimeo, okay? May 20th to the 31st. How does your person feel? What are they not saying? What are they not revealing? What do you need to know? All that, okay? All right, let's get into your reading, my Scorpios. Scorpio, Sun, ooh, okay. Six of Cups. Six of Cups came out in reverse. Some of you guys are dealing with someone that you had um, a very long-standing relationship with. Okay, this is a soulmate card. There's a lot of thinking, reminiscing. Even if this person hasn't left all pleasant memories on your mind. This is someone that you both you both are thinking about each other. This is a mutual energy. So there's a lot of reminiscing, dreaming, thinking, um, wishing. Okay, You guys are all in your feelings about someone. Someone is in their feelings about you. I'm also seeing someone's thinking about wanting to come back, wanting to uh, reconcile, but that's the challenge, three of cups in reverse. Some of you guys, um, there's an energy of someone creating a block in this connection, okay, whether it's a third party or not. But I feel like maybe you guys in the past, maybe there's been some third party influences that's kept you guys from coming together. But it's almost like you, your feelings for each other have not changed. They're still there, okay? There's still a lot of... Um, feelings here we've got the six and a three nine of cups there's someone who's not fulfilled where things are with you queen of cups came out in the verse look at all these cups here talking about feelings whoever you're dealing with scorpio i feel a lot of you guys they've hurt you okay and they did the queen of cups came out in the verse there's a reason why you're in the reverse here because a lot of you guys you perhaps have given your love your loyalty you were open and available and vulnerable with this person and i feel a lot of you guys they took advantage of it Okay, so I do feel like a lot of you guys, you're guarding your heart from this person. You're closing off. A lot of you guys, you've taken back your energy, Scorpio, because you're in reverse. So you guys are not really happy about um, this person, something that they could have done to you. You may feel like you can't trust this person with your heart and you're guarding it. You're taking that back. You're holding back. So the challenge is perhaps to come um, together to overcome some kind of situation or conflict in the past that's kind of caused some kind of separation between you guys because both of you guys are on each other's minds. Let's see what happened in the past here for Scorpio and their person. We have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse and Nine of Cups in reverse. So it does look like in the past there was something here that was very promising that wanted to come together. Some of you guys... I'm getting Scorpio, your person promised you a commitment. They promised that you guys would have this new beginning to come together. Um, this is about stability, something long term. Uh, maybe they maybe they proposed to you. Maybe you guys were engaged and then they broke it off. There's something here where there was an expectation for something to move forward in the long term. Whether it be settling down, commitment, a relationship, let's move in together. There was some kind of um, idea that you guys would have this this ace of pentacles okay but i see that it didn't come through or something fell through and it's telling me that you guys have been very unhappy the nine of cups and verse this isn't what you dreamt of this is something here of this is being unfulfilled not happy very emotionally drained give me one more card in the past five of wands so five of wands in reverse is telling me there could have been some blocks here whether it was family or other people meddling in the connection in some way. This also could indicate that someone was, um, someone had some internal challenges or something that they were dealing with that caused them to not be able to present this offer to you. Okay, but I feel a lot of you guys, there was some interference, whether it be family or friends or third party. There was some blocks here. Okay, someone was meddling in the connection. Let's see, Scorpio, what's on your mind? Page of Wands and a Temperance. I do feel some of you guys could be done with a Sagittarius here with the Temperance card. Now, Scorpio, there's an energy of still believing in this connection, okay? Maybe not wanting to um, invest or contribute much, but there's an energy of you still wanting some kind of change, wanting um, inspired to have some kind of change with this person. Some of you guys could be waiting for communication, okay? It could be a fire sign, Leo, Sag, Aries. Um, but it's telling me that 
you guys are patient with something. Maybe something isn't coming through the way that you want it to right now with the page of wands. Maybe this is someone who's just very flirty, passionate. You know, they come in with this page of wands energy, which is a very small, small, um, <laughs> you know, they don't really come in with a real deal, right? They're, they're coming, giving you little crumbs type of energy. Um, but there, again, communication of some sort. But I feel a lot of you guys, Scorpio with the temperance is really about patience, not over investing, doing things in moderation, doing things that's going to make you feel um, at peace and in harmony with yourself. The temperance is also about surrendering, right? Not doing too much, not overly giving to a situation where you feel imbalanced, where you feel like you are just, you're not in alignment with yourself, okay? So let's see what's going on in the foundation with this person. Take all these cards. Give me, um, what's the person's current energy that Scorpio is dealing with? Okay. We got the Six of Swords and the Ten of Cups in birth. So it's definitely telling me that your person isn't really happy. There could have been a family or home situation here that this person wanted to have with you. They wanted, they saw family, they saw settling down with you. Um, but it's telling me that they're not fulfilled here. This is someone who's definitely in their emotions. I, I keep saying that. There's a lot of cups here. We got the six of cups, the nine of cups, the queen of cups, the three of cups, the ten of cups. There's a lot of emotions here that your person has for you. Um, and they feel like they've let you down. Okay. This is someone who's not happy where things stand with you. And um, there could have been, again, someone may have gotten kicked out the house or there was a broken family of some sort. They're, they're thinking about this. It's just on their mind right now. And they're also thinking about what they can do to overcome this, right? How do we how do we make things better? How do we get out of the, the cold type of energy, right? How do we get out of this conflict? How do we make peace with the past? How how do I get back in Scorpio's good graces, right? So yeah, definitely someone feels shut out by you. They're really unhappy, um, but they want to overcome this, right? They don't want to fight with you anymore or um, they don't want to be at odds with you. We also have the Four of Wands and Eight of Cups. So some of you guys, this is a twin flame connection, okay? The Four of Wands can be indicating that they're thinking about balance and coming together, harmony, union. This is someone who they see you as someone that they can have um, a family life with. They see them settling down with you. They see them coming, moving forward and having celebrations, being with their family. This is about, um, there's some kind of change taking place. I feel with the Four of Wands is also could be um, something about, uh, travel, homing, a home, buying a home, something here. Um, but there's something about walking away from something that isn't making them happy. They're thinking about letting go or or changing their ways, okay? Overcoming something, aids or change. So this is someone who wants, not happy where things stand right now. They're wanting to maybe walk away or leave a situation that isn't making them happy to create some kind of balance and harmony within the connection with you. Four wands, again, it could be twin flame for some of you guys here. How do they want to move forward here? Uh, wow. Okay. Okay. So this is someone who, Seven of Swords and Verse, they want to come clean to you. Because the problem is, is that they did an injustice to you. They want, right, they did, they were unfair. They treated you wrong, right? They weren't there for you. They sabotaged. They went behind your back. They deceived you. Seven of Swords, they cheated. They lied. There's something that this person did and they're realizing that, wow, I was effed up right? I did wrong and I need to do better. This is someone with the Six of Pentacles who's wanting to bring some kind of reciprocity, wants to bring balance, okay? Wants to restore balance and harmony in this connection. They want to give more to you, Scorpio. So some of you guys are done with a Libra, okay? With this justice in reverse. This is someone who wants to now come back and clear the air, whatever that may mean. Um, right, right their wrongs with you, tell you what they did, why they did it, Okay, and create balance, six of pentacles. So let's see what's coming in in terms of the outcome. What can Scorpio expect? Three of wands came out in a verse, two of pentacles came out, and the eight of pentacles. So, wow, Scorpio, there's something here you're going to make a decision. There's something that you're going back and forth on because I think a lot of you guys, you've been waiting for this person for a very long time. Um, we got the two of wands, we got the two of pentacles. A lot of you guys, you've been in this place of indecision. What do I do? How do I move on? Should I move on? Is it something that I should wait for? Is this person going to communicate? And a lot of you guys, you've been stuck. You've been stuck because this decision hasn't been easy for you. Okay? And we have the energy of going back and forth. 
Should I or should I not? Two of Pentacles juggling back and forth. If this is something you want to invest in, Eight of Pentacles. So I feel a lot of you guys, um, there's a very important decision, okay? You're having to make Scorpio. Um, this person could be certainly wanting to come back um, and wanting to invest in this and you now have to decide if this is something worth investing in. If this is someone that you should um, give your energy to, okay? So let's see. Let's get some clarity for my Scorpios out there. I hope you're enjoying your reading. I hope it resonates. And if it does, please give it a like, share, comment, and subscribe, Scorpio. And um, check out your bonus up on Vimeo if you're interested. All right, let's see. The Six of Cups in reverse, the Three of Cups in reverse. You guys have not energetically detached. It's telling me that you guys are very much both emotionally invested in this connection, even if you guys are separated right now. Because... You know, Scorpio, your person's realizing the love that you gave them. It was so pure and gentle and kind and sweet, right? You were there for this person. You supported them. And they're now seeing your back turned toward them. And they're not happy. Five of Pentacles in verse. This is someone who feels left out in the cold. Eight of Cups in verse. They want to return to you. They're not happy where they are. Um, this is someone who is feeling um, distant from you. They feel like, you know, they're abandoned. They're neglected. You've neglected them, Okay right for reasons. Um, but the five of pentacles in verse is them now wanting to get out of the cold with you now wanting to be in your life in some way, wanting to not let you go. Don't wanting to cut, they don't want to cut that cord, right? Um, eight of cups in verse, this is someone who misses your love. They miss, they miss the love you gave them. They miss your affection. Okay. They, they want to come back. There's the energy of leaving and coming back. Whether you left they want you to come back. If they left you, Scorpio, they're wanting to return. So in the past, we have the Ace of Pentacles in verse, the Five of Wands, and the Nine of Cups. The Star card came out in the verse with the Knight of Cups. So it looks like, yeah, your person didn't see how special you were, right, at one point. There was the energy of this someone who just gave up, okay? Scorpio, you could have just given up and felt like, you know what, this isn't what I want. I'm not happy. Uh, this isn't what I envision. I know um, I have so much love to give with this Knight of Cups, and I want to give it to the right person. And I think a lot of you guys, um, unfortunately, it, 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 isn't, it isn't what you wanted. The Nine of Cups came out in the verse, okay? But the star in the verse is the energy of someone needing healing, someone not being in a place where they can really truly give their love and loyalty, give their, um, treat the other person like they're really special to them, okay? Even if their person felt you were special, they weren't able to give you that energy, okay, that love. Um, they weren't able to treat that, treat you that way. So why is the five of wands? There's definitely some interference of some sort here. The Hermit in reverse, okay? Virgo energy, and we have the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, I feel a lot of you guys, um, you could have distanced yourself or they could have distanced themselves from you because there was some um, unequal give and take. There was some imbalances here. I feel like your person was um, allowing someone to interfere in a connection, okay? Whether it was family or third parties, there was something that was um, taking up space, Okay, causing some confusion. The hermit, this is someone who got lost. They were in their head. They were doing some thinking. I don't know what I want anymore, right? They were confused about who to give their love to with the Knight of Cups. So yeah, I feel a lot of you guys, Page of Wands came out with with uh, temperance for you guys, Scorpio. So a lot of you guys are pulling back. I do feel like you're still wanting communication, but you're also focusing on yourself first and foremost, right? With the temperance card. The magician, okay, you guys are manifesting, creating your own future in love. It could be a Gemini that you're connecting with. Um, it's telling me that you guys, you haven't lost hope with this person, but right now they're not the focus of your attention because the focus is, is you, right? Scorpio, balance, healing, um, aligning yourself, okay? A lot of you guys are doing a lot of uh, manifesting, okay? This is about you telling the universe what you want. Okay, creating this new love in your life. What do you speak this into existence, right? Positive affirmations, candle magic, whatever you guys are doing. Let's see what's going on in the foundation with your person. The Ten of Cups in verse, not happy. There's some kind of falling out for sure. Six of Swords, them wanting to get out, um, get out of conflict with you. Okay, King of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries. This is someone who wants to move forward, take action, right? This is someone who's confident. They they want to take back power of the connection. Typically, the wands is like power, desire, passion, you know? Um, let's see. Eight of Cups and the Four of Wands came out with the Two of Cups. Wow. See, on your mind, on, a, on this person's mind, 
is balance, restoring harmony. Some of you guys, is a family situation. They want to come back together with you. Two of Cups. This is someone who's realizing that they could have walked away, certainly from their person. Okay, the Eight of Cups. They could have walked away from the wrong person. They could have walked away from someone that they really care a lot about. Um, two of Cups. They see you as the person that they want to be with. There's no other person like you. So uh, that's on their mind. And I feel like Scorpio, unfortunately, they're realizing that afterward. Okay, they're realizing that after all, all this, right? So the justice in verse is I'm feeling, well, things are very much in balance. I was wrong. I was unfair to Scorpio. I did an injustice to them. I lied. I cheated. I deceived them. Seven of swords. But I want to make my way back. I want to come on back and restore harmony to this connection, to this relationship. I want to make things more equal and fair. The six of pentacles. Yeah, look at that. Seven of Pentacles came out with the Queen of Wands in reverse. So the Seven of Pentacles is telling me your person's been doing a lot of thinking, a lot of reflecting, anything the Pentacles about stability, security. They're thinking about what you meant to them, okay? What you mean to them. They're thinking about their investments, how they can be smarter, how they can invest in better situations. Um, they're thinking about what you mean to them. The Queen of Wands, some of you guys, they were dealing with the Queen of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries, or maybe they had a passionate type of connection outside of the relationship here with you. Um, and it's telling me that they could be wanting to drop that or walk away from it, part ways from this Queen of Wands energy. Others of you guys, this is someone who, um, you know, we have a King of Wands and a Queen of Wands. One person's in reverse. It's almost like one person's really in, one one person's really ready, and the other person's kind of like, you know, taking a step back. So it's almost like you guys, um, it's like when, right when you want them, Scorpio, right? They're messing around. They're doing their own little thing. And then when things turn around, when you take back your energy, this is someone who now wants to come forward. So take it out resonates, but there definitely is like you guys are on different pages at different times. Okay. So let's see. The Six of Pentacles is wanting to create balance. Queen of Pentacles, okay, wanting to create balance, wanting to reciprocate because they now see you as the Queen of Pentacles. They see you as someone they want to invest in. King or Queen, masculine or feminine, doesn't matter. This is someone who sees long term stability, commitment, loyalty, family, um, marriage, children, right? They see you as someone who they, um, they can have a very stable life with. They see you as very reliable and trustworthy. So let's see what's coming in. There's a lot of indecision, right? Two of Wands, Two of Pentacles going back and forth regarding if, if this is worth investing in. Eight of Pentacles. Let's get some messages here. Um, the Nine of Swords and Birds. This is a very difficult decision because a lot of you guys are in your head. It's a lot of stress, anxiety, worries about this Um if this is something here that you should move forward with, Six of Swords, if this is something you can get out of conflict with with this person, if you guys can overcome whatever disturbances you guys have faced, and the King of Pentacles, right? Can you really trust this person? Um, they've let you down before. Can you rely on this person, right? Is this person someone that you can invest in? Do you think this person was really, really ready? Have they matured? Are they coming back correct, right? A lot of you guys are going back and forth on that. Is this someone I could really, truly give my heart to, right? Because I'm ready. I want long term. I want stability. So we've got the king and queen of pentacles. A lot of you guys, um, your person could be coming back, okay? Um, right, coming back and actually wanting to commit, wanting to put all their time and energy into this, right? Wanting to grow with you. So that's what I'm seeing for you guys, Scorpio. Beautiful reading. Um, if this resonates, like, share, comment, subscribe. And your bonus is up on Vimeo. How does your person feel for May 20th to the 31st? So let's get a few cards from the Divine Love. This is one of my Oracle decks on my Etsy shop. I'm going to get two cards just to kind of finish off with this reading, okay? All right, what messages we have? We have Misguided. Someone was, was misled down the wrong path that was not for their divine good. So some of you guys, you may be in separation from this person because they were guided down another road, okay? They were distracted, right? There could have been some interference. They were not making the right decisions. They went down the wrong path that wasn't for them, wasn't for this connection, wasn't in favor of the connection, right? All right, we also have um, reciprocity and guarded. All right, so we have reciprocity. Adjustments are required to create balance and restore harmony, right? Six of Pentacles came out twice. Um, in order for this to come together, in order for there to be balance and harmony here within a connection for you guys to support perhaps a reunion, your person has to give equally. There has to be equal give and take, okay? Your person has to invest. 
They can't allow, they can't expect you to do all the work. You can't give 110% and this person only gives 10. It just doesn't work like that. So your person has to adjust. They have to make adjustments to the way they treat you. We also have guarded. Someone is being cautious and wearing a protective barrier. Now, a lot of you guys, Scorpio, I feel like this is your energy. Okay, you came out with the Queen of Cups in reverse in the current energy. A lot of you guys, you're now guarded, okay, for the right reasons. Because this person, you were open and available and ready, and they weren't. And they could have sabotaged. It could have hurt you really badly. But a lot of you guys, now you're the one who's guarded. You're guarding your heart. You're guarding your feelings. Okay, you're protecting yourself. You're very cautious now. So that is what I'm seeing for you guys, Scorpio. Let me know if this resonated. Um, Sending you my love and my blessings, okay? Take care.